A lot of drivers will opt to stay in their comfort zone where they're maybe number one at a racetrack. What went into your decision to make the move? Well, it's uh, something I thought about doing for, for a long time and uh, <clears throat> probably had the uh, backer to go with me and uh, thought I would give it a shot. Well, it's been a successful shot, but what obstacles, if any, did you encounter? Well, I think the biggest uh, obstacle is, uh, is uh, you know, leaving a track where you're uh, in, you know, in demand to go into a place where uh, you just get lucky enough to pick up drives. And when you're just lucky enough just to pick up drives, um, you're not usually driving the first or second choice. So what goes into making them know that you're there to stay and you mean business? Um, by showing up at qualifiers helps uh, getting 100%, you know, going out of your way to just to do the right thing for everybody. You also came in with a number of long shots, and David, when you're up behind the long shot, do you naturally uh, tend to drive more conservative? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, not not driving the uh, power that I was. Yeah, I had a tendency to set in longer and uh, you know, race a little more conservative. Well, last season I think you notched um, something like 733 wins. I'm not exactly sure what your number is this year, but what's more important, the number of wins or the quantity? or quantity or what I mean to say is quality. Um, you know, it's nice to win, but uh, uh, racing in, in uh, New Jersey uh, has given me a lot of experience and uh, opportunity to meet uh, a lot more people and uh, drive some really nice horses. What do you like about racing on the big mile oval? Um, I, you know, I, I like it. Uh, you, you can uh, seem to uh, sit with your horse a little longer and uh, try to race him somewhat a little easier and uh, still have enough room to work with through the stretch. Well, the dynamics are different here today at Delaware, and you have to kind of like uh, remind yourself, I'm at Delaware today, things are different? No, because uh, I've been able to race at a freehold some too, and uh, so I've been on the half here all along also. Well, you're getting behind some horses today that you may not have driven, or at least not in the recent past. What do you look at when you pick up the program? Um, <clears throat> just the class that it, the horse is in, how he's been doing, and uh, just basically how he's been racing. We have Mr. Knight Strider, a trotter, uh, coming up next. He'll be your first drive of the day, and what can you tell us, if anything, about him? Yeah, I haven't talked to anybody yet. Uh, I'm going into it uh, mm -hmm. in the dark. <laughs> well, that's an open mind. I would say that if you go in the dark, you have no preconceived notion. So do you just get a feel for the horse when you're scoring him down? Yeah, you know, um, usually uh, the trainer will give you a little bit of information about the horse and uh, say how he is, and uh, yeah, just kind of go through it, fill it out. Did you even look at the program long enough to say, hey, I think I got a couple of uh, strong choices here. I should come away with one or two wins? Um, I can't say for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Always being conservative. That's David Miller, I think. A little bit shy, a little bit conservative. However, uh, maybe Ohio's loss is uh, New Jersey's gain, but certainly all of racing appreciates a fellow like you, and I appreciate you doing the interview. Thanks, David. Thank you very much, Jeff. Let's go back over to you. Dave Miller mm -hmm. currently yeah. ranks fourth.